With each passing year, machine intelligence is becoming more of a reality. And with it, the prospect that functioning humanoids will share our world. Hiroaki Kitano, a robotics designer, believes the field is advancing so rapidly, we must begin to define the future of the human-robot relationship. Okay. Kitano is currently busy constructing a robot called SIG. He has come to believe that a robot's design is crucial. It may well be the key factor in whether we accept them in our midst. In the future, if we start having a robotic system in a daily life, in everyday, everyday life robotics, people start uh, afraid of robots at the beginning because people do not know what the robots are going to do. Uh, would robot hurt you or uh, you know, what happened with and what is the uh, relationship between a human and robot? So, you know, design defines what the robot is and they send the right message to the people what the robot is about and whether it is your friends or enemy or tools or industrial products or what. Who knows just how far Sig and his descendants will go? What roads they will follow in the coming years? As robots begin to move among us, how will we regard them? As mere property, like automobiles? Or as individuals with rights and responsibilities of their own? Can a thing become part of human society? Can a thing become a person? If a robot would appear on city streets today, But when all is said and done, building sophisticated robots may be easier than accepting them into the human family. Even as they begin to blend in, we may never feel at ease with them, for they recall the fears of our most deep-seated myths.